God has spoken by a son. Long ago, in many ways and at many times, God's prophet spoke his message to our ancestors. But now, at last, God sent his son to bring his message to us. God created the universe by his Son, and everything will someday belong to the Son. God's Son has all the brightness of God's own glory and is like him in every way. By his own mighty word, he holds the universe together. After the Son had washed away our sins, he sat down at the right side of the glorious God in heaven. He had become much greater than the angels, and the name he was given is far greater than any of theirs. We know that God didn't put the future world under the power of angels. Somewhere in the scriptures, someone says to God, What makes you care about us humans? Why are you concerned for weaklings such as we? You made us lower than the angels for a while, yet... You have crowned us with glory and honour, and you have put everything under our power. God has put everything under our power and has not left anything out of our power. But we still don't see it all under our power. What we do see is Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels. Because of God's wonderful kindness, Jesus died for everyone. And now that Jesus has suffered and died, he is crowned with glory and honour. Everything belongs to God, and all things were created by his power. So God did the right thing when he made Jesus perfect by suffering, as Jesus led many of God's children to be saved and share in his glory. Jesus and the people he makes holy all belong to the same family. That is why he isn't ashamed to call them his brothers and sisters. He even said to God, I will tell them your name and sing your praises when they come together to worship. 